94.3 The Dude is very grateful to our men and women in uniform. We're proud to recognize local members of our military by turning the spotlight on them right now in our soldier salute. I'm your host, Marine Corps Corporal Bobby Herpel. Today I have with me another corporal in the Marine Corps, Zach McAteer. And McAteer, tell us a little bit about your first South Carolina experience at Paris Island. On a van, I uh, left from Knoxville, Tennessee, and I was with about eight other dudes. And we rolled up to a town right outside of Paris Island. I guess it wasn't actually on the island. It's actually funny. We arrived late because we got into a car wreck on the interstate on I-20 going through uh, South and all the windshield busted out in the van, all the windows and everything like that. I'm sitting in the back seat like I'm already nervous because I'm about to ride to Paris Island and the freaking windshield busts out. So you start with a car wreck and then you have boot camp. I'm sure that was a wonderful experience as well. Tell us a little bit about what you do in the Marine Corps, Zach, how the reserves work. Well, my MOS is a 1371. I'm a combat engineer. I'm in the the Marine Corps Reserve, my unit is in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Basically, my only obligation to the Marine Corps drill one weekend a month, and I go to an annual training uh, once a year. And usually that lasts for two to three weeks, maybe a month, depending on what the unit is doing for training that year. So you go to drill, and then when you're not at drill, what do you do civilian side? College. Uh, so I go to college at Cumberland University in Lebanon, Tennessee. And then I also work as a server and a barback at a restaurant. And you're about to go Marine Corps full-time. Tell us a little bit about what you do in the Marine Corps, Zach. I'll be uh, commissioning in December. I uh, finished up officer candidate school this past summer. I did a platoon leaders course, which is a split program. It's two six-week missioning training cycles. You go between your sophomore and your junior year and your junior and your senior year of college. So that's what I just returned from this past summer, and I will finish out this last year. And I can say from personal experience, you are one heck of a leader, my friend. I can't wait to see what you do in your career.